Okay, so tonight I decided to light up one of these uh, 866A rectifier tubes. As you can see here, uh, this is a pretty big tube. It's about six inches tall, close to that. And like I said, it's a mercury vapor diode, mercury vapor rectifier. So it converts uh, AC to DC, basically acting like a electrical check valve. Power, current can only go in one direction from the hot filament to the plate on the top there. So uh, we have it, uh, we've had this tube heated up for about the past hour. You can see the glowing filament. It's pretty hot in there. We're using two and a half volts at five amps to heat this tube. So they, they're definitely power hungry. Uh, these were used in high power applications like radio transmitters and industrial equipment. Um, because this thing can handle significant amount of wattage. Um, and, and the mercury vapor helps it to, to be such high power versus just a regular vacuum rectifier. So obviously um, what's going on here is that hot filament, is just for anybody who's curious, the hot filament uh, allows electrons to be excited and effectively kind of kind of boiled off as a sort of a vapor on the surface of that filament. And when we turn on high voltage, positive voltage on this plate on the top of here, it will cause those electrons to be sucked off the filament and slam into that plate, causing current to flow through the gas, through the mercury vapor and create a plasma. So we're using the um, curve tracer here as a uh, power supply for this uh, demonstration so I can also sh plot a little bit of the, the characteristics of the tube um, but more importantly it's just a power supply to show off the the plasma so here we go we're gonna light it up so right now it's just the filament just incandescent uh, heat that's in there so we'll turn on our high voltage supply oh there it is Check that out. Okay, we got a little bit of a curve going. One, the vertical line effectively is the milliamp here, is the current through the tube. Um, this tube has a voltage drop of about 15 volts. I think that's what the data sheet says. We're kind of close to that. Two volts per division on the horizontal. All right, but you can see the real show is over here. So I'm eventually going to incorporate these tubes. You need two of them to, to form a full wave rectifier power supply for an audio amplifier. Now the really neat thing about using this in an audio amplifier is that this plasma will actually be modulated with the audio, with the music that's going through the amplifier. So it will put on a light show as well as be an amplifier. So that's basically it. Uh, that's just a mercury vapor plasma in there. Um, and if you're going to work with these tubes, obviously you don't want to break them because there's mercury in there. But also make sure that the filament voltage is activated for a good amount of time, like at least 15 minutes, if not 30 or 40 minutes, before you uh, turn on the B plus on the plate because the mercury could get jammed up in between the filament and in the shield there and then if you turn on the high voltage you might cause a short circuit so they always tell you to uh, let the tubes get hot and evaporate the mercury and get it where it's supposed to be you also have to always operate these tubes with the base pointing down in this position don't run them on their sides or upside down or anything like that because that mercury uh, likes to settle and the best place for it to settle is at the bottom of the tube so um, that's pretty much it. That's the 866A rectifier tube.